Welcome back. Okay, the other thing I want to be crystal clear about and share with you is I'm working in Dreamweaver CS6. Now, the technique I just shared with you does work exactly the same way in CS5 and 5.5. However, if you're using earlier versions of Dreamweaver, the interface is different. It's still going to be the same concepts. It's still going to be the same concepts. Once you go into this control, this panel here, it is visually different on this other software, on the earlier software. Now, if you don't have Dreamweaver CS6, you know, guys and gals, I implore you to get CS6. Why do you want to learn old technology? In addition to that, it's basically $19 a month with the cloud version. And you, for $29 a month or $39, I think they're running a special still on Adobe.com, you get the entire creative suite. For those who are saying, well, that's a lot of money, you can't afford that, then why are you in this business then if you can't afford it? Okay, I'm here to help you make money, but more importantly, let me share with you a very simple technique. I never pay for my software. Now, for those who say, oh, what, what does he mean by that? I pay for every, every piece of software I own, and I have you know many, many computers, close to 30 computers I own, and I own software legally for every single one of those computers. However, I didn't physically pay for it. I pass that cost on to my clients when I do a website or a project. I have probably close between After Effects and Final Cut, I probably have close to about $100,000 worth of, of extensions and add-ons and Photoshop plugins that I bought over the past 20 years. But did I pay for that? No. I passed that cost on to my clients, which means when you build a site, if you have to basically get an extension or something, then have the client pay for it. Now, that's not being dishonest, it's just building it into the price. If they're okay with your price, well then go with that. So what I'm trying to share with you is don't let 29 bucks a month break your bank because as you're building a website, just add $29 extra into your website cost. And there you go, you own the software. Enough of that. Okay, now here's what we need to do. By the way, I share with you practical real world techniques. That's another reason to take and sign up for my classes. I share with you how to do it the right way based on 26 years. Now, since we connected to the FTP, so let's review a few things. We defined the site under site, new site. We told Dreamweaver where the file is kept locally. This is now our root folder. We're now going to click right here and we're going to connect to the server. So if I click right here, I will connect to the remote server. So it's good. Dreamweaver is going to do its little thing and it's going to connect to the server. Now, I, my apologies. But I had basically set up some other stuff here long ago and I forgot to trash it. So we'll do that by the time I go to the next video. I have most of these files trashed. This is from an old WordPress inst installation. But what I want to share with you basically is that if you wanted to make changes to your existing site, this is how easy it is to do. I'm going to take this index.php file and I'm going to download it. Again, for those of you that don't realize, and again, I have people who've been working on Dreamweaver for 10 years, they never realize you can do all the FTP right from Dreamweaver. So unlike Fetch or Transmit or any other FTP program, Fizilla, where you drag things, there's no dragging here. Dreamweaver knows exactly, exactly where to put the files because you define the site. And that's the first thing we did here. So all I have to do is either Command Shift D or Download Arrow, which is Get, Upload Arrow, which is Put. So based on these choices, we're going to download this file to our local computer. Now Dreamweaver is going to say, do you want to include any dependent files? Now what does that mean? It means any file that this file depends on, as an example, a JPEG file, a QuickTime movie, anything that was on this page that it needs to make it work properly, an external CSS file, a JavaScript file, etc., etc. So in this particular case, since I'm downloading this for the first time, I'm going to say dependent files, yes. Now, if you say dependent files, no, and your page doesn't work correctly, well, you're going to have a bit of a problem. Okay, so I've downloaded that file. Now what I can do is I can double click this and open up that particular file. Now, this file happens to be a WordPress file. I don't want to confuse you. So I'm simply going to take this file and save it as something else. In fact, I'm going to go to the server right now and hit the delete key. I'm going to delete that particular file off my server. Simply by hitting the delete key, it's going to say, you sure you want to do this? Well, this is fine for me because in this particular case, I have a backup right here. So here's what we're going to do to keep it simple, simple, simple. We're going to take this file here, which is my original file, and I'm literally going to do a hyphen original. 
So this way I know it was my original index page in case I want to go back to it. Okay, so we're going to make ourselves a brand new PHP file from scratch. File new, new file. Based on these choices, we're going to make ourselves a PHP file. Now, since we should be working in HTML5, I definitely want to select HTML5 here. Now, let me share with you a little production technique. If you're building modern, modern, modern applications and now it's the end of February 2013, so you should definitely be building HTML5 documents, but say you don't want to do this every 10 seconds. So one of the things we can do is go to our preferences based on these choices and go under new document. So what this is going to do, every time I make a new document inside of Dreamweaver, it will default to HTML5. So as an example, I'm going to cancel this and I'm going to go to File, New, New File. Right there is my HTML5 document. See, production techniques, guys and girls. I share with you the techniques that will make you money. Let's click here on PHP and create. Now, for those of you that are new to PHP, I'm just going to close this window for a second. Window, Window Files, Command F. And the first thing I'd always do is save the file. And we'll just call this the, our index page, index.php return. And I'm just going to put something very simple like welcome to our new website. And you should always title your page. I get very frustrated when I see other instructors trying to teach people this and they're working either on an untitled document or an untitled Illustrator or Photoshop file, which really gets in my craw. So you always title your page. So if, you're, if your page was whatever your page name is called, mysite.com. And in this video series that I have on Udemy, which is part of my free series, which is udemy.com forward slash think or earn, earn, I share with you the benefits of titling your document for search engine purposes. And I'm just going to put here shop till you drop. Make a change, save a change. Now, here's the super, super, super cool part. Okay, I now want to publish that to my server. Well, all I have to do is this. It's this simple. If you really think it's this simple, it really is. I'm going to go to the file menu because anything about a file is under the file menu. File print, file export, file convert, file save. It's that type of thinking. I get you to think the way the software thinks. That's what separates what I do from anybody else's training method. So I'm going to go to the browser menu and based on these choices, I'm just going to pick Firefox. Now, Dreamer is going to say, do you want to put this on your testing server? The testing server that we set up by checking that little box in our previous video. Well, if I say no, nothing's going to happen. I want to say yes. Then it's going to say, do you have any dependent files? Well, the answer to that is no, I don't have any dependent files because I just set up this page. There's nothing included. There's no CSS. There's no JavaScript. There's no JPEG. So based on these choices, I'm going to say no. Incidentally, I would never check this box because I do want it to prompt me just in case you forget. So this is my default button so I can simply hit the return key. So it's going to take this file and publish it to the server right there. Now, for those who are saying, Oh, oh, is that really the server? Yes, this page is really on the server. Absolutely positive, really on the server. So in our next video, I will share with you some more FTP techniques and tricks on how to work this the right way before we build our login form and password protected website using my techniques, Dreamweaver, MySQL, FTP. So stay tuned. And again, thank you very much for being here. And watch us on UDB.com for you YouTubers. I love YouTube myself, but Udemy.com is a better way for learning stuff. Talk to you soon.